Hi, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, I am going to answer one of the most asked question that is how to start preparing for CSI Net Life Science exam and more importantly, when to start preparation for CSI Net Life Science exam. So if you are aspiring to uh, enter the field of PhD, you need to know about CSI Net Life Science exam and you, you want to appear for the CSI Net Life Science exam. So basically, when to appear and when to start the preparation, that's all about important a question right so the first question that when to exactly start for the csi net life science examination preparation i have seen many students uh, who don't even start after the msc completion and there are many students who even start uh, the preparation at their uh, graduation at the end of their graduation so what is the good thing for the preparation okay so based on my past experience what i understood is that it's very important that you start the preparation i mean at least the preparatory phase of the preparation early because the CSI net preparation timeline can be divided into two different sections. One is the preparatory phase and the one is the actual preparation phase. The preparatory phase is the time when you start the preparation, not exactly you start reading the books and all, but in the preparatory phase, your idea here to basically try to understand the examination, understand the syllabus clearly, know what kind of questions they ask know what uh, is the depth of knowledge that you need to answer those questions. So in, basically you need to get familiarize yourself with the examination. So the very first part is that. So you should start that part of the preparation at the beginning means at the end of your graduation career. I'm not saying that from the first year of your graduation because that time is uh, not you, you're not very much familiar with the subjects. So I believe you can start with the third year onwards or like fifth or sixth semester onwards of your graduation degree, you can start the preparation process. If you can start your preparation from your graduation third semester, try to understand the exam, then it will be better for you to even start the practice sessions and revision and everything from your masters. Because believe me one thing in the masters uh, semester based system, but there are many colleges where you will be in huge pressure. And also the study pressure is huge. So considering these facts, you need to well manage your master as well as your net preparation. So I believe the graduation third year is something that you need to familiarize yourself for the preparation. Second thing, you can also initiate the preparation, the CSI net life science automatically from your uh, master days as well. So in your master days, uh, you can also start the preparation from your first and second semester. Okay, so that is the preparatory phase. But actual preparation of the subject and topic you should do from your master's second semester or third semester. So if you consider master as a fourth semester system, then you can start it with the third and fourth semester onwards and you can continue the preparation. It will be a terrible idea to start the preparation at the end of the master's because the number of uh, days and years you'll have in your hand after that will be limited because your age will increase with time and there is a strict age limit for men for CSI and life science general category that is 28 for female it's 33. Now we'll come to the question that is how to start the preparation for CSI and net. So for that first is the preparatory phase I already talked about it. You need to be familiar with the syllabus, familiar with the question pattern, I need to analyze the question pattern for last few years question papers to get a clear idea about it. And once you are clear about it, then you move to the next phase. And the next phase comes from the preparation phase. And at this moment, you start with study materials. This is the first thing that you should do. You gather study materials, uh, either the free materials that are available in the internet or paid materials, either of them that will work for you. Try it and test it and get them. Once you gather the materials, obviously, uh, you need to first focus on your basics. So clear the basics. And to clear the basics, you need to read from peer-reviewed books. Okay, so the list of the books I already mentioned in separate videos, you can watch that. And uh, you can get all the PDF version of these books. I already have a video on how to get the PDF version of all these books and you can get them uh, from that video. Okay, and now once you gather the study material, then you start preparing the basics for those topics. Start preparing the basics for the topics. And you start preparing the basics means every single thing that you need to uh, read from A to Z you need to prepare. But again, based on your planning, okay, the planning you already did, the prerequisite state, we already did the planning of which units you need to prepare, which units you can skip and everything. Once you know that, you continue with this preparation for the basics. Once the preparation is done, then comes the revision step and practice step. So multiple practices, you know, you need to revise every single chapter, every single topic, 
multiple times and test yourself with the test series and mock tests and any other test series either you can uh, get it from the previous year's question paper practice or you can join a test series program we conduct test series program every single session so you can do that after that you need to have a clear understanding you'll get to know whether you are ready for a topic or for a unit or not if you are ready for a unit or a topic then you move for the examination and that's how you begin the preparation okay so this preparation is not exactly starting from one particular point they have multiple steps and i have de discussed about the detailed steps of the csnet preparation from one to like seven step preparation procedures are there you can watch that video as well to understand how to initiate your preparation and continue with the csnet preparation although it will feel difficult at the beginning but as we continue with it you'll find clarity inside of it okay so that's all about it this is how you should start the preparation but early start is a good thing because uh, you can start with result awaited category it, it will not hurt you uh, even if you prepare four or five units but it's still fine to get an experience of this examination okay because nobody is going to ask you how many times you appeared ultimate thing that matters is you qualify or you don't qualify okay so that's all about it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you